Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two blue semicircles uh, put together in between two parallel lines. Uh, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these two semicircles uh, are uh, tangent to each other. And moreover, this uh, red line uh, connects uh, this point A and uh, B. And furthermore, uh, both of these uh, semicircles are identical with the radius uh, 3 units along with their uh, centers O and Q respectively. And now our task is to find this uh, length uh, AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action uh, plan. If we draw this uh, perpendicular AP, then as a result, we are going to get uh, this uh, right triangle uh, APB. And we know that this uh, AP is the uh, same as the radius uh, of this semicircle, which is uh, 3 units. So that means this side is 3 units. So therefore, we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, PB in order to calculate uh, this side length uh, AB. So thus our task is to calculate this uh, side length uh, PB now. And here's our next step. Uh, I have connected uh, these uh, centers uh, Q and O. And likewise, I have connected uh, these points uh, C and this uh, center Q as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be exactly 90 degrees. And here in our case, uh, this uh, is our tangent line and this uh, CQ is the radius. So therefore, according to this theorem, uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, QCO. Now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, AQ is the radius of this uh, semicircle which is uh, 3 units. So therefore, this side length uh, PC is going to be 3 units as well. And likewise, this uh, OB is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle, which is going to be 3 units as well. So therefore, our now only task is uh, to find this uh, length uh, CO. And here's our next step. Let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, QCO. We know this uh, side length of this uh, triangle uh, CQ is the radius of this semicircle, which is going to be 3 units. And we also know that this is the radius uh, of this semicircle, and this is the radius of this other semicircle. Both of them are uh, 3 units each. And now let's recall another uh, crucial fact, the centers and the point of uh, contact uh, that is also called point of tangency are uh, collinear. So therefore, these centers uh, Q, O, and this uh, point of tangency lie on the very same line. So therefore, this whole uh, length uh, Q, O is going to be 3 plus 3 is going to give us uh, 6 uh, units. So thus our this uh, Q O length uh, turns out to be 6 units. Now let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, right triangle uh, Q C O. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula A square we are going to figure out a plus b in our case is 3 square equal to c is 6. So it's going to become 6 square. Let's go ahead and subtract 9 from both sides. This is gone. So a square turns out to be 27. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore, our a value turns out to be square root of 27. And now we can see that this uh, length A is equal to this uh, length uh, CO. So therefore, I wrote down uh, this uh, length uh, CO is going to be square root of 27. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side length uh, PB is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, individual uh, lengths uh, PC, this uh, length uh, CO. 
and this uh, length O B as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore go, we are going to add uh, all uh, these uh, three lengths. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Our P C is uh, three plus this other one is square root of uh, 27 plus three as well. And if we add everything that is going to give us six uh, plus uh, square root of uh, 27. So our P B length uh, turns out to be 6 plus uh, square root of 27. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APB once again. Who's this uh, side length? Uh, PB is uh, 6 plus uh, 27 square root. And we know that this is the radius of this uh, semicircle. So this is going to be 3 units. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem to calculate this uh, side length uh, AB. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call uh, this side uh, a and this side uh, lowercase uh, b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 6 plus uh, square root of 27. Let me go ahead and write down 6 uh, plus uh, square root of uh, 27 whole uh, square plus uh, b in our case is 3 so this is going to become 3 square and equal to c square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial so therefore this is going to give us uh, 6 square is 36 uh, plus uh, 2 times 6 is going to be 12 times the uh, square root of uh, 27 plus the square of uh, this square root of 27 is going to give us just simply 27 and then we're going to write down 3 square is uh, plus uh, 9 equal to c square now let's go ahead and combine the like terms these uh, numbers that's going to give us uh, 72 plus uh, 12 times the uh, square root of uh, 27 equal to c square and now let's focus on this square root of 27 i have copied it down and if we simplify that is going to be equal to 3 times the square root of 3 so therefore i'm going to replace this one by 3 times square root of 3 as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this uh, square root of 27 by 3 times square root of 3 so therefore we are going to have 72 plus uh, 12 times 3 is uh, 36 times square root of 3 equal to c square and now we can see 36 is in common between these two terms so therefore this could be written as c square equal to 36 i'm going to bring it outside and inside parentheses is going to become 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3. let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides so therefore our c value turns out to be the square root of 36 is uh, 6 outside times 2 plus square root of 3 and we know that this side c is same as this whole side length a b so therefore our a b length turns out to be 6 times square root of 2 plus square root of 3 so therefore here's our a b length and that is going to be equal to approximately 11.6 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.